Today I'm gonna use some tricks to get more pop and some color contrast using the free app Snapseed. First I'm gonna try straightening the horizon using the rotate tool. It has auto adjusted, works fine here. Applying this. Next going to tune image. We'll try here to flatten the image by getting more details. Reducing the highlights for details in the sky. And increasing the shadows for details in the darker parts. Now for a few selective filters to bring out the greens on the edges of the image. First one here. Increasing the brightness. And more saturation. Couple more at the bottom. Next for some selective contrast. Using curves, applying the soft contrast preset. Then with masking, tapping on the stacks icon, view edits, curves and brush. Here with the effect hidden and brush value at 100, brushing on these houses to give them more contrast. Now to the brush tool. To give more pop to the rocks on the hill with the brush value of dodge and burn at 5. Brushing on these rocks to make them bright. The more you brush the more bright it becomes. Now to make it more warmer, selecting temperature here. With the brush value at 5, brushing on the same rocks. Nice subtle difference here. Tuning the white balance to give the overall image a warmer look. Increasing the red tint. Also more temperature for orange stones. Now for selective sharpening. Increasing the structure in the details menu. Then applying it on the houses with masking. With selective filters, I'm gonna try giving some color contrast to the houses. First one on these warmer colored buildings. Adding a bit of brightness, little contrast, so 
some saturation more structure then copying and pasting the same settings on this cooler looking buildings which gives a nice color contrast to these village houses one more around the horizon more saturation and contrast to make the image more interesting darkening the image by dragging the top point down a little making a slight curve here then with masking with the effect applied bringing the light back on these houses and a bit on these waters Curves again, this time using the blue curve dragging the upper part bit towards right which adds more yellows to the highlights. Also dragging the RGB curve for a little more brightness in the highlights. Lifting the blacks just a little for a faded effect. You could leave this as it is, looks a lot different and better than the original image. As a bonus, I'm going to tune the colors in Lightroom Free app. Here in Lightroom, in the HSL sliders in the color menu mix, moving the blue hues a little towards aqua and adding more brightness to it. Moving the green hues towards yellow, more saturation. Moving the yellow hues towards orange. So this is the final result. Thanks for watching.